This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to simulate the effect of all of your photo being slightly curved and kind of just popping out of the screen, so it sort of seems a little bit 3D. So uh, the way that we do this is uh, with our with our photo that we want to apply that effect, we want to first bring up the layers and double click on the uh, layers palette uh, so that we transform it into just a regular layer and not a background layer. And now we're going to go into image and canvas size and increase the area that we have to work with to add the effect. So we're just going to look at the image size here. It's uh, 500 by 331. So we're going to click on relative here so I don't have to do any maths. And basically I just want to add, let's say, 150 pixels uh, on on all the sides in total. So we're just going to click 150, 150, click OK, and we've increased the size of our canvas here. Now I'm going to add a new layer, bring that down to the bottom, and since white is our background here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on press Control and Backspace to, uh, to add that white. I'm going to go back into our image, and I'm going to go into uh, add some effects. So I'm going to go ahead and do a drop shadow. And with the drop shadow, what I want to do is um, basically drop down the distance to zero so that we have the effect of the drop shadow all the way around the image. And the size, we want a small size of around two to three pixels. So it's a thin border around. And we want to drop that opacity down to 20%. Okay, so we have a very thin, faint border here that you might not see too much at the moment. But this is going to come useful for the next step, which is to add the stroke here which um, will allow us uh, the photo to look like there's a bit of a nice border. So we're going to set the color to white, and we're going to set the position to inside, and, and then increase the size. And as you can see, as I increase the size, we're just creating a nice border here of the image, and you can see that nice little faint area here just helps us see the edges of the image. Uh, versus the, uh, the the paper here that's you know that's below that image. So I want to create a size that is around six eight pixels, something like that, um, and just go ahead and click OK. Right. So now we have the basis of our image, so that we can now create that effect, which is essentially just adding a bit of a shadow here at the bottom, so it seems like the photo is being bent. So the way we do this is we create a new layer. And we're just going to close the layer palette here. Make sure that you are in the new layer. We're going to go with our pen tool. Make sure that the pen tool is on, you're on this option here of paths and not on the shape layers. We're on paths. And now what we want to do is uh, click at an area here. Let's say at, the, at this edge here. And now we're going to shift and click towards the end here. Right, so we make a line. Now we're going to shift and click around here. We're just creating that shadow. So just uh, use your imagination here at the moment. And now we're going to head, go ahead and shift and click here, but we're not going to click and let go. We're going to click and then drag. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. And as you can see, as I drag, it starts creating uh, a curve, which is uh, reminiscent of a curve of that, of that of that photo, you know. So we're just going to let go here. And now uh, you can see the, the size of the re relative size of your um, shadow to the size of your photo. So, for example, here I think that the size is a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, do Control and T. And with that, we can actually adjust those paths, right? So we can uh, make it wider and we can make it, you know, bigger and so forth. So I'm just going to adjust it here and uh, position it slightly there. I think that's okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. So we have our shadow there. And now we're going to transform the paths into an actual selection. So the step to do this is to go into our paths. If you don't have your paths window here, it's window and paths. And now we're going to head, uh, go ahead and press control and then click on our work path here. You can see that the icon changes to the marching ants box. And when we do this, we have our marching ants here. So we've made our selection. And now we already on we are already on our new layer. So what I need to do is just with black fill that in. So that is uh, Alt and Backspace, and we're fill that in with black. I'm going to deselect, and I'm going to bring this this layer below here so that it's below the image. So we have sort of that shadow there. Obviously, this doesn't look much of a shadow right now. It's a bit too harsh. So the way we uh, create that effect is going to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur and set a radius of around uh, six, five or six, something like that. So there we are. 
we're gonna head and go ahead and click OK. And now what we can do is change the opacity of this, and we'll change that to an opacity of 20. So with my number um, keypad, I'm just gonna press two for 20, and this 20 here will allow us. Um, to blend in here. That's why I set the opacity of this image here of the drop shadow to 20% as well so that it then easily blends in. So we have our 20% here and now we can just go ahead and move that about if you need to rearrange it. You're going to be probably looking at using your number key pad. And now even if you are a bit unsatisfied with this, let's say for example I think this is a bit too uh, this is a bit too too tall basically. You can still, since it's a shadow, you can still modify it a little bit by just go ahead and click on Control and T on your keyboard and then you can just modify it. So I just made it a little bit skinnier and there we are with our shadow on that side. And it, as you can see, it makes it seem like this part of the, uh, the the photo here is being, you know, a little bit bent, even though it's perfectly, you know, square, but it gives you the impression. And now what we can do is just duplicate this layer. So we're going to head and uh, click and drag to the new paper icon here. And we have um, our other um, shadow here. And now what I want to do is move that here and flip it. So I'm going to go into edit, transform and flip horizontal. And now we flipped it to the other side and now just appropriately place that using your shift key. Uh, and there we are. So we've created that effect. It kind of seems like the uh, images coming out here and here, even though the image isn't, it just gives you that uh, effect because of the shadow. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.